Through the course of my 30 years here on planet Earth, the meaning of the word cloud has changed in meaning quite a little. You know, it used to mean the fluffy white things up in the sky. Maybe we're thinking about a beautiful summer day. So we're sitting on the beach, listening to the waves come crashing in, and just enjoying the beautiful day. But it actually has changed quite a little to now this fire hose of jargon buzzwords. If you want to know more about efficiently running a hypervised auto scaling container or containers on a CloudFront secured endpoint through distributed availability zones on an infrastructure as a service system, as long as it's not multi tenants, we do not want multi tenants. <laughs> I'm not the guy to answer your questions. As anybody technical will know through that long, co non-cohesive string of jargon. But what I would like to talk to you about today, though, is how to become Magento Cloud Certified. I can talk about that, well, because I am Cloud Certified. But also because Magento's Cloud Platform is built in a way that we don't have to get into that type of jargon. I mean, we have to understand a little bit. but. A developer of Magento can fairly easily wrap their head around what this is, what it offers, and how to deploy webs on it. The, the documentation around Magento Cloud is outstanding. My story, though, in getting the cloud certificate was, I would say, quite comical. I got into this test. I thought, how difficult can this be? I mean, we're, we're talking about PHP and MySQL and, and Apache or Nginx. I mean, we, depending on the environment, we might configure that kind of stuff all day, every day. I, I took it and I failed. Man. 52%. You cannot believe it. I worked for hours, hours on this stupid test. But here's the good news. I was discouraged about this and I was like, what can I do to resolve this? I continued study, I took it again, and I passed. So here's a couple of things I would like to share. Actually, three things I would like to share with you about what it takes in order to pass this test. Number one, you must have access to a Magento Cloud test instance and maybe this a test project configured on your computer or sandbox. Please do not use a live merchant's account or their website for this type of a test or this type of experiments. All partners and community insiders will have a cloud sandbox available to them. So take advantage of that but this is number one because it is critical and it is important because you have to have this hands-on experience if you've never done this before if you've never deployed a website on Magento Cloud it is possible however you're going to need to study a little harder do a little more investment in this and you must you must have access to a Magento Cloud sandbox that's number one you must have access to the sandbox otherwise don't even try taking this test number two if you have deployed a merchant on Magento Cloud, you're, you're, you're a good bit of the way there. If you have not deployed a merchant on Magento Cloud, you have a long ways to go. Either way though, uh, it depends on just how much in this, what I'm going to now say you have to invest. Download the Magento Use Study Guide, or you can use ours if you would like. Um, go through it line by line. If you are using Magento Use Study Guide, try to think of scenarios that you can set up to test um, so you can learn about each point. Uh, our study guide has a lot of that information already baked in to try to simplify the process of what it takes to learn in order to pass this test. The number one point that I see in people who successfully pass these tests is true curiosity. Hmm. I wonder what this does. Uh, maybe if I, how does the configuration flow through from this uh, when I create a new environment? For how does it flow through from the parent environment? How does it, how does configuration get inherited? How do I create a environment variable that affects uh, sys or store configuration? Okay, I don't know the answer to that. Instead of going and asking somebody, I'm going to go figure that out myself. I'm going to go set up a test scenario, and I'm going to make this happen. That's curiosity and that will get you a passing grade on this test. Number three, it's easy once you know. My dad told me that all the time. It's easy once you know it. And, and you know, there's a, a, a great deal of truth in that. Well, I would say it's probably all true. And I find that the test is well written and I'm going to say it's easy to understand once you know your Magento Cloud concepts. 
I didn't encounter on this test things that I would consider trick questions or overly difficult questions. It was just literally questions about configuration and how to solve these problems, how to do these things in Magento Cloud. So that's really good news. Get out, go take it, get this one under your belt. Uh, and I look forward to hearing. If you're on LinkedIn, feel free to um, ping me, Joseph Maxwell on LinkedIn. Love to always hear when people pass this test. So I, of course, you'll have a free congratulations out of me right there. If you liked this post, feel free to click the like button. Um, if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel um, or click the like button there on YouTube as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.